Good morning, friends. A little stuffy this morning. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I guess sinus. Something's going on here. It's draining down into my throat, so my throat burns. So a little raspy, I'm sorry. I'll do the best I can. But I don't want to skip any more days. So today I have a craft from the 80s. I believe it was um, 86, but I, I can't remember. I'm trying to think back until when I used to watch this program called Aline's Crafts. Well, she the inventor of this glue. She used to have a craft show on uh, cable. And I, I think it was eight, in 86 I started watching her. But she, they do some uh, really unique things. She, it's her and all her daughters. And the one, her name is Heidi. She does uh, a lot of recycled crafts. So she, it was fun. I used to watch it every day. It'd come on at 12.30 in the afternoon. So, it was at the same time that The Young and the Restless was on. And I used to be into that, but Eileen's Craft Show beat it out. So, <laughs> but anyways, it's uh, called Bread Dough Roses. Oh, you can do any flower you want, but it's called Red, Bread Dough Roses. So, what you're going to need, well, first of all, hi, good morning. <laughs> Welcome new subscribers. Welcome back existing subscribers. I missed you. Thank you for the kind comments on my help. I just, I don't know. I just, I have allergies so I, and it's bad here in Florida. So I keep getting these sinus infections. I mean, I use this nasal spray, this whatever it is, flu zone. I don't know. That's it for the allergies and it's not working and then the sinus eyes are all swollen right here and you probably can't see it but they are puffed up and they hurt anyway we're gonna try to get through this so for this craft you need a slice of white bread not really fresh you know you want it soft but not like Fresh, 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 or you stick it and it doesn't pop back. So I took this out about an hour ago. I laid it on the table so it'll be ready. You need a slice of white bread. You need your Lean's Tacky Glue. And then you need a color of paint of your choice. I got pink and yellow. Just craft paint. You need a small dish. You glass, plastic, disposable, it don't matter, just a small dish. And a tablespoon, measuring spoon. One tablespoon. So that's all you need to make these roses, right? So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the crust. You don't want the crust. Take this crust right off the bread. It won't work if you don't take the crust off. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> you make sure you get all the brown. I should put it up here. I, I keep holding things down here. I need to get my overhead camera set up. I have it. I just haven't got it set up yet i got my tripod and my camera and just put it up here so it's looking down on the table i get my grandson to set that up for me soon he keeps saying he will whenever i'm ready i just gotta clear out a spot for it because i set up my kitchen table it's a little crowded over here in this corner I have to have him move some things around. Like slide that coffee bar down or something. All right, get around the edge. So all the crust is off. I wanna make sure you get it up, get it all because it will ruin it if you don't. 
it won't it won't knead up into the glue okay so you just got a piece of bread with a crust removed that's all it is and then a dish I'm using this one because I can wash it but you can use any disposable dish you want then you're gonna just break it off in little pieces not too big but like that just break it up put it in your bowl I used to do a lot of these it was so much fun when <laughs> first time I seen her do it I was like I used to have girls my friends come over to the house twice a week and we would do crafts and I said let's do this one Pretty soon, everybody had these things coming out of the woodwork. But you can decorate with them, right? You can put little stems on them if you want, but you know, just get some floral wire and cut it. But I just glue them onto things like jar lids or bases, whatever, wherever you want to glue it. Or you could put a little. I got these little magnets off Timu. I'm going to try to put one on the back, make some magnets out of it. Um, cover minders or magnets for the fridge. Whatever you want to do with them. They're really pretty glued on to tops of uh, jars. I save all my pickle jars you know the wide mouth and I put my Christmas candies in there and decorate jar lids usually cover them with cloth and ribbons and stuff you know make them fancy but I think I'm gonna do a couple of these because I haven't done this in years and uh, glue them to the tops maybe make some poinsettias That'd be pretty. Okay. Yeah, this is this is the boring part, but you just keep sh shredding the bread, shredding the bread. I'm just gonna speed it up a little. So how's everybody been doing? How was your weekend? I did a little diamond painting yesterday. I did a little I don't know seven eight minute video on it. Just what we were doing. What my nose was dripping so bad I was so congested I was like just to pop in and say hi because <laughs> I hadn't been on but uh my yeah my friend was here and she was on the phone talking to her friend in Korea so it's quite loud when she does that so I had to just make it quick but yeah she's going to Korea in December she hasn't been there since she came over here and I think 89 she came here and well, she wants to go home for a visit see how things have changed I think she's gonna be disappointed but we'll see she's Americanized now you know <laughs> okay so you get it all in the bowl like this just pull the part in little pieces and this is where the messy part comes in so have a rag beside you or a bowl of water, something for your hands because it's messy. I'm going to pour one tablespoon of Aline's tacky glue. Oops, whoa, 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 whoa. too much. Too much. <laughs> All right, almost overflowed it. I saved it. So you just got a tablespoon of glue. You put it into your bread. Now at this point, you could use a spoon to get it out. I have that one here. But I usually just use my finger. I did on. I got one made up, batch made up, and I just used my fingers. But it was quite messy. So use the back of a spoon or plastic knife or whatever you want. Just enough to get that glue out. 
That's it. Still a little bit in there, so I'm going to use my finger. You want it all. As much as you can get. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> then you're gonna, now the glue is on top of the bread. We're just gonna get in there and you can wear gloves, but I'm just a crafter that don't care. <laughs> I like my hands in there, I wanna feel it. The gloves just takes away the feeling of the texture. But it depends. It's up to you if you want to use gloves. They'll stick to the gloves, but it's going to stick to your fingers too. And you just want to get that all mixed into the glue. Like that. Get it off my fingers. Best that I can. And then at this point, you want to add your paint. So, before you start kneading it. I've done a yellow one batch, so I'm going to do, I think it's red. Is it red or pink? <laughs> oh, no, is this a mystery? Um, it's pink. So you want to add 10 to 12 drops, depending on how dark you want it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna go with 12. Okay. Put your paint there. Now, <laughs> now you gotta mix that paint up into the the dough. Just keep working it. Turning it over. Smushing it in. So you get it all up off the bottom. Okay. Cut it all out. Uh, and you just put it in, in your hand. And just roll it up. Squeeze it. Roll it up. Squeeze it. Now this is going to take about 10 minutes to work all this in so I'm not gonna do the whole thing I'm just gonna get it mixed in a little bit to show you and then you have to knead it until it's perfectly smooth but this is how I get it started get that paint I'll do this so it doesn't stick to my hand this is where you want to see if you think it's gonna be dark enough and I don't think it's gonna be dark enough for what I want so make a little thumb indentation. Put some more paint. Put about another four, three, four drops in there. This is a, this is a, 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 a puff paint, you know, for put on your clothes. It's, it's raised. So if you're using regular craft paint, probably eight to ten drops would be plenty. Uh, but this was here in my cupboard behind me. So this is what I'm using. It's already out here. Okay, so that's going to stick. And you want to do this till it doesn't stick no more. Just squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Clean it off a little bit so I can see if it's still sticking. Okay, 
because it will stick to, you know, that's sticky on your hand. Now it's not sticking anymore, so. It, it feels like uh, Silly Buddy. And, you know, if you ever played with Silly Buddy. I'm sure we all have. That's the texture of it. And you're just going to keep mixing it. Okay. And you'll do that about 10 minutes. But I'm not going to do that because I'll bore you. But you just keep doing it, doing it, doing it. Wipe it off your hands. Do it some more until it's no longer sticking. And you've got a nice little ball. Let me get this off and I'll show you. I got one ahead, done ahead. Because I knew it was going to take time. Ugh. Sticky. <laughs> Sticky, sticky. I don't want to get pink. Because my other one's yellow and I don't want to get pink on it. Uh. Oh, yeah, show ya. I got my craft apron on. There's my cow. <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's long. Very long. It's hanging down past my knee. Got a hair. Okay. Put the cover back on the glue. Move away the breadcrumbs. And I'll show you the one. When it's done, don't knock my water over there, cat. She's grooming herself right beside me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it in a Ziploc bag until you're ready to use it so it don't dry up. So this is when you get it all kneaded together. This is what you're gonna have. And like I say, it's just like, it's just like silly, but just like silly, buddy. Okay. It molds. Okay. So what you're going to want to do, roll it back up. Get it rolled up. I'm going to take a little piece, just a little piece. Cut that hair out of it. Follow me around. A little tiny piece, little pea size. Uh huh. Okay. And then you're going to put it on your thumb or the tape on a on the baggie, wherever you want. I like to do it on my hand. And flatten it out. And you want it really thin. Okay? Then you're just going to roll it up and make a little cone. Roll it up. Just roll it up onto itself. So you get a little cone like that. That's going to be the stamen, the, the middle piece of the rose. Lay that down. No, I'm. I just got my Ziploc bag here in front of me that I'm working on. I'm just going to lay that over there. Then you're going to take another little piece, little pea-sized piece. Roll it up, flatten it out, and get it as thin as you can without ripping it. Okay, that's going to be your petal.
pinching in at the bottom a little bit. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> then lay it on your <coughs> lay it on your middle piece. You put a rose out in front of you for a silk rose for reference. And then just want to pull the pull, pull it back just a little bit. So I just wrapped it around and then pull this piece. Flop it over just a little bit, not much. And get another one. <coughs> Uh, nasty draining right down my throat do the same thing flatten it out as thin as you can without you know ripping it and place it on the other side get the top up there Place it on the opposite side. I wrap it halfway around. Pull it back out a little bit so you're going like this. And you just continue on until you get a rose shape. So, oops, I'll just work on this for a minute and chit chat to you. And you keep going back and forth from one side to the other side. See, now I got a little rosebud. <clears throat> so, I've had some really interesting comments. Y'all have given me some helpful hints. I like that. I got a lot of you drinking coffee with me in the morning. That's fun. Um, I'd say... I think about 12 or joining in with me my, my coffee in the morning and I like that because coffee always tastes better with friends I feel so good going down my throat hot but then the cold does too so back and forth back and forth I think I may go See if I can get an appointment this morning for this afternoon and get antibiotic clear this up because it's making my throat raw from the from the uh, coughing. Coughs so hard because it literally drains down my throat and I don't want it in there. So you gotta pay attention because I just laid that down the wrong way. And make sure you're on the opposite side. Almost just stuck that right on top of the other one. I mean, you can tell where you overlapped. Yeah. You can see. And then this side now is got the gap. So that's where you want to put it. And just keep going until you get the size you want. We used to put the... Uh, Um, yeah, that stuff, the spray sealant, you know, and can, sealer, we used to put that on them and they would look like little porcelain roses. Now when you start getting out away from your bud, you want to start pulling your little tips back a little bit so that it looks more like a rose. Can you see that it's starting to look like a rose? Pretty cool, huh? Well, this is gonna dry hard. And it's gonna have a porcelain look, you know, like a porcelain rose look to it. So if you put that sealer on it, extra Yulean sells it in little cans. But I just buy the big can of it at Walmart and keep it in my craft closet so I have lots of it. That one's too big. I'm gonna pull a piece off it. It was 
<laughs> way too long. Okay. I'm going to put this one on this side. Flip it back a little bit. Another one. And then I'm going to call it good. I'm just going to make a little one here. Sake of video. Yeah. I don't know. Between the allergies and my sinuses, kicking my butt. Oh, oh. kitty war. <laughs> uh, playtime. That cat. She's 19. Oh, almost 19. And she plays like a kitten first thing in the morning. And then she's down for the rest of the day. You don't see her. She goes hides and sleeps somewhere. And I got the uh, gray orangey colored coon cat. And she's a cold black bobtail. <laughs> they just, they're funny. Especially her, because she should not be able to have the energy to run and play like that. She's old. The coon cat here, she's she's six. And she has a lot more energy. Okay. So, this is it. Curl these little petals back to, you know, it looks like a rose. And then I take a sharp knife. And I trim the bottom off after it gets a little bit, you know, dries for a few minutes, about an hour. So it will set flat, or you could just push it, take it by the base here, and give it a little push down the table, make a little flat surface. Oh, that one works. Sometimes it, it won't, but it's too much of a puck up, but that did. Just so it will set that. And then just play with your petals and make them look the way you want them to. Have some up, some down, some opened, some curled under. There you go. Now this is a yellow one because I like yellow roses. And this one's going to be the pink one. But this is what you start out with and this is what you end up with. After you knead this about 10 minutes, stretch it and knead it. Wonderful, amazing, amazing, amazing thing. And you can do a lot of things with this. It's like, you know, it's just like play. So, use your imagination. This is what I learned, so I, this is what I was going to show you. You can look up her videos. It's a, uh, what was it she called? Lean's, I know it was Lean's. Creative living or lean grass or something like that. Anyway, you can find it. I think there's a website on here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was the Lean's Creative Crafts or Creative Living. Lean's, it's spelt A L E E N E S. Creative Crafts, or Heidi Borch, that's her daughter's name. I remember that. Was all, she does all these recycle things. She was my favorite. Okay, so you're just going to set this to dry somewhere. You don't want to lay it down. You want it somewhere where it will sit up. I'm just going to set it up here on my button jar. Peel those petals back more. And it's, you know, cut it off to how high you want your base to be. Squeeze that out if you want to put it on a stem. Make an oval shape, that, you know. Roll it out to stick it up on a stem. You can add more petals. You can add glitter that would be pretty 
spray it with the uh, clear sealant and then just sprinkle some glitter on it. But some of these paints are glitter paints. So you can buy the glitter paints. But there you go. That's my craft for you today. They're really pretty when they're dry. I'll show you tomorrow because they'll be all dry and hard. So I'll show you on my video tomorrow how they turned out. So that's that. So I'm going to sit here and... Of course, I'm going to put this back in the baggy. This one I'm going to leave out because I want it to dry. I'm going to put my ball back in it because you can make quite a few with one slice of bread. Keep it in it. Ziploc bag. And I'm just going to sit here and play with this one until I get it all mixed together. <laughs> this is good. This is good for the arthritis in your hands, too. It's like a squeezing a stress ball. Hi, kitty. Hi, Sensi kitty. She won't. What are you doing? <laughs> and that's what I do. I just stretch it, fold it. Stretch it. Fold it, roll it, roll it back forth, roll it all along. Fold it back upon itself a couple times. Give it a squeeze. See, it's already coming together. What it just was, all tacky looking. It's already coming together. But I do it for a good, a good 10 minutes that way. It's all distributed, all the glue and the paint and the bread. So there's no dry spots or nothing when you get working with it. I mean, you can stop. You don't got to do a consistent 10 minutes. You can take a break. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, watch, watching that cat. She wants to play so bad. And the younger one's up here with me. But the black one, she's laying there just, come on, come on. <laughs> I have to go to sleep for the rest of the day because I'm old. Right. You see? It's getting there. You don't want to be able to see any white spots. So this is basically going to be pink, so if you want it to because of the paint I'm using, you could put some more paint in, make a dent, put some more paint in. But this is gonna be very pale pink and I like it. I think it's gonna look good. With the yellow. Pink and yellow. And I'll probably do a red one and a white one ones you know several yellow several pink several red several white and just mix them together when i put them on the jars okay now this is this is about done actually all right i'm gonna squeeze this for a few more minutes make a rose let it dry and then stick it in the baggie and I'll show you tomorrow when they're dry what they look like along with. I've got something on my eyelash the whole time. <laughs> Probably a piece of this. Um, whatever I come up with for tomorrow, I don't know yet. I sit here, my brain will start act, go on activating. I'll think of something. But I was trying to think of uh, some of the things that we used to do back in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, and we used to sit. I had a, a taught crafts, and I had my friends and neighbors come over, and I would show them a new craft, and we would do them. I usually, it's always usually recycled stuff like this, bread, glue, you know, recycle. Stale bread works the best, but I didn't have any. Don't use the end pieces. That will not work, by the way. Don't use the two end pieces. No. 
because you've got all that crust on the back. But yeah, just take it out an hour or so before you want to start and let it get air dry, you know, air to it so it's not real, real, real fresh. <clears throat> I like my sandwich spread fresh, you know, so that, that when you uh, squeeze your sandwich, it just stays there. <laughs> so I had to let it set out for a little while so I could work with it. But if it's, you know, day old bread's better. Okay. So this is done. Now you know. What do you know? It was faster than I thought. Thought it was gonna be. Yeah, when I mean, it feels like silly putty or play doh, and it's it's done. It's not sticking to you no more. It's done. Okay. Alrighty then. Oh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that blast from the past. I mean, you can make different flower petals. You like, I could do red. I probably will. And just make a poinsettia shape, please. Squeeze them out, or you can draw a template on a piece of paper and lay it down and cut around it. Use your stencils. You know, whatever. Use your imagination. You don't have to make just roses. You can do daisies. You can do tulips. You can make them as big as you want. Like I could take this and just roll it into a cone. And have some more to work with. And have that be the center of my rose and just keep that. And that would just be a huge rose. Okay, I won't let you go. So I'm just jibber jabbering. I'm gonna go take some uh, Sudafed drink some coffee and think about what I'm going to do today. I'm hoping Abby feels better today and she's not sick. Poor girl. She had, had, she had such gas yesterday. And my grandson would rub her belly. She lays right here beside me on her bed. And she would, she, he'd get rubbing her belly because it was so hard. And then she'd toot, ah, oh, smell like something crawled up in there and died. So we took turns. We just kept rubbing her belly, rubbing her belly, rubbing her belly until she could get a little bit of a toot out. And she never did go have a bowel movement. So hopefully today she will. But I, I uh, fixed, I cooked up. I had cooked a roasting chicken the other day and uh, put it, you know, deboned it and all that stuff and put it up in the freezer. So I pulled some out and made some ri white rice and uh, put it in her bowl and just put some warm water so it wouldn't just be dry rice and chicken, just some warm water. And let it sit there for a few minutes and then I put it down and she ate all of it. And she hadn't ate any of her dog food all day long. I was eating a peanut butter and crackers for snack about, about two o'clock. And usually I share it with her. She didn't want that. She didn't want one of her biscuits. She didn't want nothing. She just laid there and looked so pathetic. So hopefully today we got it worked up enough that she can get rid of it. <laughs> she's so I never she always got her ears up and perky and she came out yesterday and she had them pinned pinned right to her head and just sat there and stared at me like do something grandma and I never seen her do that since we've had her so I knew she wasn't feeling good but her nose was cold and her tongue was wet so I'm assuming it was just gas because her belly was so so hard and she kept passing gas so We'll see. Okay. Thank you for stopping by, sitting at my table with all my mess, and drinking a cup of coffee with me. You don't have to have cake up. I have an actual coffee pot. If you want regular coffee. 
But I do drink Folgers, so if you don't like Folgers, you got to bring your own. Um, the K-Cups, I have a variety you can choose from. Flavored creamers, sweet and low, regular sugar, uh, milk, you know, whatever you like in it. Just come on by. <laughs> okay. All right. It was nice talking to you. I missed you. And uh, I'm going to try to stay on track and try not to get sick. If I keep getting sick, I'm just going to go and uh, talk to my doctor. Like, you got to do something. I mean, I know the diabetes, my immune system is down, but I'm on allergy pills. I'm on the nasal spray. I take uh, Sudafed. Um, I have pills, two different pills for the GERD, and I constantly got GERD. I'm like, I can't eat anything anymore. I had to give red, I had to give up red sauce. That was killing me. And I had to give up the pepper. I already had to give up salt. Now I have to give up the pepper because it makes too much GERD. I had to cut my coffee down to just two cups a day. When I used to have that coffee pot and cup of coffee in my hand. I didn't care, you know. I'd make it, let it set and get cold. Not iced coffee cold, but, you know, room temperature and just sit and just drink it. You know, I didn't care, hot or cold. But it makes too much GERD, so I had to cut it out. I have one when I wake up. Usually I'm up about 2.33. And I have that cup with you while I'm making the video. And then I have another cup when my grandson gets up about eight. Oh, that's it. And then it's water. Water, 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 lots of water. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you for sticking around if you stuck to the end to see it. But I will show it tomorrow. So if you got bored, you can just come back tomorrow and watch completed. And uh, hit the like. Dislike, share, subscribe, notification bell, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.